everyone and welcome to another playthrough of Mechanicus from 2018. This is Fort Bandit Steering Wheel and today we're at day 33 of this year's Necrovember! So I forgot to upgrade my characters in the previous video so we're gonna do that today. Uh, let's see, he is level 21, 20, 20 and 20. Well he's not the one we're gonna upgrade though. Uh, let's see, where do we want to upgrade him? So we're currently going for here. Machine Spirit deals damage. Machine Spirit attacks two. This one could be very effective, actually. Yeah, let's go for the healing one. So, today we're gonna continue with our boss fights. Yeah, going out strong in this Necrovember. So, we're gonna be playing the Void Admiral this time oh wait no we're gonna go for the corrupted king sorry about that the Ubjao, Ubjao sector prime hermeticon caprix have located the possible sarcophagus of lord Ubjao. enter his tomb and destroy the deceased and insane lord before he can fully awake we're gonna get a new power axe a scanner a new additional mission deployments for the slot that is and some uh, blackstone we're gonna be facing over death marks Flayed ones and loot obiao. Boom, 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 boom. This one is gonna be a lot of close combat, and because of that, we're gonna go for class combat Skitari instead of a uh, long range. Skitari operations in the tomb of Obiao report probable sarcophagus location, target reanimation unknown. Ubjao is a plague upon Silva Tenebris. His ranting broadcasts have demoralized the, the Skitari to the point that they are barely maintaining a foothold in his tomb. If he awakes fully and becomes an active combatant, the Skitari will have to fall back. Target profile includes probable flare virus infection and extreme behavior unpredict unpredictability. Standard Necron Warform, target protocols ineffective, new core solutions in progress. If we have a chance to cut out this cancer, then we must take it. Influence excision confirmed as objective. Lord Ubjao must die. Release the hounds. We know where he is, but we don't know what we'll find when we get there. Ubjao was mad and the flare virus could have turned him into a monster. Mission priorities are speed, target indication and mental resilience. Ubjao likely morale as well as physical f uh, threats. What makes him difficult to fight is also the reason he has to die. I do not relish the fallout from this mission, Magi, but the consequences of letting Objao live are worse. Possible biological slash mechanical fusion requires attack solution recalculation. Recommend fire. Suits me, fire works on everything. The Corrupted King. It's gonna be the same, right? Yeah, it's a long way walk there. Boom, boom, boom. Pop 
possibly Ubjao, high value target visual reference potential. A relief of glowing Necron Lord looms on the wall of this chamber, visible through the smears of filth and gore that covers much of the tomb of Ubjao. Uh, search for anything value. Value. Of course, he got the initiative. Go. Our presence has been detected. High probability trail of the prey close in on the quarry. Let the baying commence. The tracks of something huge run through this chamber, leaving gouge in the gore smeared floor. Whatever it was, it left scraps of torn skin and globs of shredded muscle tissue in its wake. And uh, do 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 do. Make haste. Glyph time! Glyph time! Let's see if we can get some good here. The one on the left is gonna... Um, the one on the left is gonna give us black stone. The one following that is gonna... Um, uh, give us positive initiative and uh, the one after that is gonna do, 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 give us CP and the last one is gonna give us Blackstone so it is a matter of Blackstone or initiative or um, CP what do we want Think personally I want a better initiative gonna go for that minus because we can always get more blackstone and, and and frankly my characters are mostly upgraded as much as they can so soon we're not gonna be able to upgrade them either so it doesn't really matter but initiative is better because then we can play for longer uh, with less uh, issues continue It almost looks like a ritual site. Do these things have a religion or could it be a trap? Several human skulls, still bloody and evidently recently removed from their former owners, sits in a circle on the floor. They appear to have been deliberately placed. Uh, scientific. Doesn't matter what I do, it's always more initiative. A crushed and mangled body of Skitari lies among the ditches of this chamber. Unlike the other dead encountered in the tombs, it shows no sign of gas blasters, of necron warriors, or the blades of the flayed ones. Instead, it looks to have fallen victim to a massive blunt trauma. Let's examine. Evident presence of high value target, full reanimation probable. CP, thank you very much. Glyph time, glyph time. So, the one on the left. It's gonna give us Blackstone. The one on the right. It's gonna give us less initiative. We did the uh, initiative last time, uh, and I, I'm gonna reason the same thing. Uh, it's it's uh, better to have less initiative to worry about. Let's go! But we still arrived at the 5 mark.
A literal heart of corruption lives of Guyarados 7360. If it has not a head of, uh, to sever, cut out the heart. High value target confirmed. Combat capabilities confirmed. Biomechanical structure apparent, hypothesis, ref flare virus, hybrid machine curse, slash bioviral infection, imperative, acquire samples. The coursing is complete, the quarries at the bay, strike for the kill. This chamber is dominated by a hideous sight, a mass of flesh and body parts pulses in the center of the chamber, like a cocoon assembled from the corpses of the tomb's dead. The mass is composed of both freshest guitar dead and older mummified bodies, probably from the vanished settlers of St. Eckert's Hope. Fight! Coming flayed ones. Kill Lord Ubjao. So yes, we want to be as close as possible. So we're gonna place you there. We're gonna place you there and place you there and you there. We're not gonna activate any of this guitar yet. We're going to activate them when we're in trouble and we need to use them as bait for the guitar or for the flayed ones to go after instead of uh, my priests. And uh, they are going to fall behind very quickly. It, oh, God damn it, I hate it when it's uh, backside like this. Uh, fire. Burn them both. Let's see. He's gonna reveal his stats and hurt him a little bit, even. I think we're gonna go all the way up there, waste no time. Refilled Cognition Gauge. Strike him down. Boom. Oh, so he gets uh, killed for all of that. Let's go and rain over there. Because we can't attack him right yeah, right now, we're not gonna go all the way up. Not yet anyway. Okay. Can use the small gun on this one. Okay, so he gains death, uh, kills every time he, uh, he, uh, he gets health every time we kill one of them. But that could be good then to kill them now, before we start uh, hurting him. For reals. He 
he still has enough to hit the the, the um, Objao, so we're gonna go for it. Let's go and hit Objao. Strike him down. Boom! Six critical damage. You can only heal. Let's fall back. Worth it. I'm not gonna refill it just yet. You're gonna be able to shoot at him full mount. That's gonna be good. Really good, in fact. Okay, fire, regular gun, fire. Oh, you can't shoot from there. And we have no points left. Fire your heavy gun. And then we're gonna refill the gauge meter. Fire! Strike him down! Oomch, 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 oomch. Target. I love the fact that my, my priests are so overpowered that we can kill him so quickly. Sure, he's gonna heal up a lot when uh, in the next turn. I know that, but I am being cocky now when I can. The most funny part would be actually if we actually manage to kill him before he even strikes at us once. That would be very ironic. Can we deal enough damage on him? Is the question. Use the heavy gun. Four damage. Two damage. He didn't do as much damage as I hoped. And poke. Falling back. Uh, I don't think we're gonna use that yet. We're gonna wait for it for the next one. Let's see if we can kill him now. We're not gonna fight the flayed ones because that's only gonna give him more health. Oh shoot, we just realized uh, we don't have enough points. But thankfully we have this one. Burning, burning, it's a burning fire. Let's see if we can go and kill him. Oh, 
Oh my lord, he never got to lay a hand on us. Target eliminated. Mission complete. The Hulk in horror that is Lord Ubjao collapses to the ground in a mess of torn flesh and ruptured metal. The fusion of biological and mechanical parts prevents the remains from teleporting away in their entirety, leaving many gory chunks of Ubjao's structure oozing on the floor. The cohort can recover these after they are given the omnicized fangs for helping them prevail against such monstrosity. Kill confirmed, unmaking concluded. At great cost, none who witnessed Lord Ubjao will be the same. Uh, even my neural walls struggle to contain the disgust and dread at such sights. Bodies heal, minds heal, Lord Ubjao remains dead. Time is on our side. The tomb of Ubjao is still a moral threat, but with Ubjao gone, it will not continue to get worse. We may yet hold it, Caprix. We may yet be victorious on Silva Tenebris. The concept of victory is dependent on high value target eliminations. There will be more calls to the chase. The hunt is not yet finished. Next attack will deal 8 damage. Let's go for uh, upgrading then. We don't have enough. Don't have enough. As I said, uh, we're gonna have less and less of this each time it goes by. So, it's a shorter video, but it's, that's the... the, the <laughs> The, the struggle of, of success. Uh, thank you very much for watching this. See you around, everybody. Bye bye.